Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be trying to make an idea a reality. This is one example of what I've done. So I had this idea, it's called Sparkle Every Day. And then I put, I, 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 I realized my ideas in Adobe Illustrator. And then I made this. And that was the idea. And that was the outcome. And now we will be trying to bring this baby to life. But um, I won't be filming it on my phone. Um, I will be screen recording on my computer. So you will see there all the work I do. You'll see how I do it because it's a whole process. And this is just like a chill design with me video. And you will get to see a day in the life of a graphic design student and freelancer. So, um, I needed to download Wondershare Filmora because their screen recorder is epic. By the way, this is not an ad. So, we are now <clears throat> opening Adobe Illustrator and we will, we will, I am a complete novice at this so <clears throat> don't mind if i make many mistakes and spamming control z but anyway let's start off with a simple rectangle and we are gonna fill this with a grain a grainy aesthetic color you know pinterest and their posters they tend to do a lot of aesthetic things on there. So I kind of want to make my poster look aesthetic. Okay. I wanted a kind of gradient heart shape. So it's going to be like this. But really blocky. So it kind of is like a bunch of rectangles. And the lines form a heart. Let's make one rectangle. I'll just choose a staple color. Say that's good. And then we. This is our base rectangle. We will use this exact width of rectangle for each. So what does a heart look like again? Oh my gosh! Block heart. Heart block. What? No. <laughs> So we've got short rectangle, medium rectangle, medium, medium, re medium, medium. Okay. We need to think about this. Let me write this down. 2,000 years later. Like that. Yes, exactly. That's what I was trying to get at the whole time. Let's adjust the gradients for each. So we need some good pink colors. Pink. We need to come up with a good pink gradient idea. What's lighting? Whoa. Well, you can adjust the lighting. That's cool. But I'm just looking. This might be good. Now that looks like a good gradient. Oh, I found you. I found you. Good. Okay. Now, when I put these together okay let's just see what happens if i make all of them like this okay beautiful why does it not look like the same yellow color i don't know why just to symbolize that positivity can go two ways Love can go two ways. Energy can go two ways. Because energy travels. And I sound like a nerd right now. So we've done the background. And now I'm thinking we should rasterize this. And add a beautiful blur effect. Yeah, I don't know if it's rasterized. But it, it should be. Okay, now it's rasterized before it wasn't. I want to give it a moving kind of vibe. Can I not do a moving blur? Or smart blur? Or smart blur? 
motion blur. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Click export as PNG. And... Where are the war prints? December printables. Blocky heart. Overwrite. File. Place. Never forget the place. And then dump in the middle. I give. Give it a penny on. I give. Bigger. But down. And then we write posit. Wait, positive. Sorry, guys. That is visually disturbing, I know. But we're going to turn this into a beautiful octane font. And it will look beautiful. Why does it not look like how I thought positive? Yeah, that does say positive. Oh, okay. Well, let's just center align this. Just for the sake of this video. Oh, now it gives Victoria's Secret vibes. Positive energy so energy but we add in the mid oh my god I was supposed to group this wasn't i yes now you will besties same we need to change that really quick <gasps> this is beautiful why didn't i think of this before maybe we shouldn't put a gradient Maybe it should just be by himself. Like, why are we torturing it like this? When we could give it more energy. Like, lime energy. Cute energy. Yes. Lovely. I give positive energy. And then it has a little kiwi floating in the background, because why not? Let's do radial blur, see what happens. Oh, that looks so cute! Okay, yeah, no, it doesn't. What the hell is happening at the end? We need to fix how much we just did. So, you know the blur? This blur. This radial blur? We need to keep it small. So that it doesn't stretch out to the sides and gets cropped off. Because of its beauty, it's divine. Why is it doing that? Okay, that kind of looks nice. I like it. But you know the text? I don't like the color positive. I need it into something else. Okay, I think that looks good. I think I'm done designing this. Do you want to blur this more? <laughs> it's kind of distracting. <sighs> what happens if I blur it a lot? It looks cute. Don't get me wrong. Look nice when you're like that. Okay. Make and make. Ooh, large image. <gasps> Let me save my work. I literally worked so hard and it's not even saved. Okay. Save as. Save on computer. I give positive energy. Nice. Nice. That did not work. Wait. Vector images are the best. Why are why do you have a background? What why what? Mm, it's not that useful. I'll probably just export this as a PNG and then vectorize that. That might work. But before we do that, I think this. And is it in the middle? Yeah, it's in the middle. Okay, I'd say I'm done. That's PNG, and see what happens. Okay. Good 
to here. I give positive energy. And this, my friends, is the final outcome. So in the end, I actually uh, made it yellow again because I thought that it looked better. So then I've just got two versions for the end product. But you can just see how it went from an idea into a final outcome. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!